Night number two of the Vern Wheeler Senior Memorial is getting underway today. They just posted the lineups. We're gonna start front row outside of the B Main event, so we do have some work to do today if we wanna win $2,100. There is some serious banking, though, around the Roseburg Indoor. Yesterday was pretty hectic with two heat races, the pole shuffle, the slower dash, a lot of stuff was going on, and so I wanted to show you guys the banking we have down here in turns one and two. You check it out here. It's got a nice little crease. This place is the most similar track we have to the Red Bluff Outlaws. It, uh, it gets right around the bottom, right around the crease, two lanes. Sliders are a little bit more tricky here because you are going fast. It really feels like you're cooking around this place where Red Bluff feels much slower and uh, it just really the sliders feel much slower unless you really get in a big crowd of uh, cars. So we'll see how it goes. There's multiple lanes. You can really run the top like a Millbridge or you could run it like a Red Bluff more around the crease. You can run the bottom pretty hard. And um, so far the racing's really good. The pole shuffle had some excitement last night and I think today's gonna be good. See if we can make it through the, uh, the B main event and we'll get to the A. Wait, who's this coming through? It's Johnny Burke. Yeah, you better get my new so t-shirt ready. Where do, how'd your night go last night? Uh, went pretty good. One and two in the heat. Dude, I got a Christmas gift in the first one. That was sick. He had, okay, started seventh and, and ended up starting third because literally all the cars dropped out. And so it was kind of nice. Went in the second one um, and then ran the pole shuffle, uh, beat Perkins in the first round and then uh, had good old Mike Wheeler in the second one. And he good good race like, though. That, that much. much. So Johnny's gonna start third in the A main event. I gotta come through a little bit of soup and um, get my t-shirt ready. We'll but. see if he can win 2,100 bucks. Eighteen tees ready to go. This is the best weather we've probably had here for the second day. Usually it's freezing cold, but the sun is trying to come out. We have an 11 on the right rear right now. Remember from yesterday's video, track's hooked up. The 11's not gonna burn off or anything uh, on a hooked up racetrack. It should run the best. Probably a little early to put a 33 on, but probably for the B main event. I'll keep you updated on that. Hot laps are now up. So I had a sick angle of uh, hot laps and my dad forgot to turn on the GoPro. He said he turned it on, but he literally just, he turned it on and didn't hit record. So you guys probably missed that. Uh, sorry we don't got any footage. I have a buddy who wants to be in the video. How, you've been in the video before, right? Yeah. Yes. What's your name? Emmett. Emmett, me and Emmett have been hanging out all weekend. What class are you running today? Uh, box stock. Box stock. So um, my car felt good in hot laps. You ran hot laps? Yeah, How'd... and I got like for quick time in hot laps, so he won hot laps today. Uh, nice job, Emmett. Uh, both our cars felt pretty good. I felt a little tight, but the track's just hooked up, so it's gonna slicken off, I think it'll come to us. And our tire choice on the right rear felt awesome. See how the track goes, and then we'll uh, decide what we wanna do with tires. But uh, car felt good, track's in good condition. I think it's only gonna go away as the night goes on. Well, Look at Tanner. Cedric, okay, here, open up the visor. Where'd we finish in the B? Yeah, P1. <laughs> All right, so um, started outside pole, won the B main event. Uh, on to the A, we are gonna start 11th, and uh, it's gonna be fast, you ready? You ready? We'll go get him in the B. We'll go get him in the B main event. Uh, dr dr or, yeah, I messed that up. Uh, driver intros will be up next.
Sorry guys, just ripped the lip, kid. Where'd we end up? Second. Second. Where'd you end up? Sixth, I think. Sixth. We'll talk a little bit more about everything. What a race. Uh, tiring, 40 laps. The best run I've had at Roseburg with the competition we had, and um, we're already stripping the car apart, giving the engine back to truck shop, got my seat out of the car. Wow. We'll talk a little bit more about this here in a second. Um, all I can say is second sucks, but it was a great race. Here's a look at the banking I was talking about all weekend long. This place is mean. It's fast. It's similar to Red Bluff. Um, we had a great finish. You know, it came down to the last lap you guys saw on the GoPro between myself and Chase Magic. We put on a great show. He did everything he had to do. I did everything I had to do. Uh, I mean, it came down to the wire. He slid under me. I tried to block him and we just bumper to bumper and he got me by about a car length at the line. So, uh, man, was it a fun one, you know, slider for slider. And I was under a lot of pressure. I just tried to stay calm, stay calm. I mean, I had multiple Red Bluff Outlaw champions in the open class behind me that are veterans, many wins. And I also do want to thank uh, Truck Shop Motors for lending me the engine for the weekend, specifically Jake Park and everybody over at that team. They gave me a ripper of an engine. I mean, this deal was quick. And um, that's mainly the reason we were able to have so much success. Otherwise, we were pretty much done before the weekend started. So shout out to them and uh, excited that we could run good with their engine. So we did everything we had to do. If we didn't have that last yellow, we win the race. And that yellow with two to go just hurt us. Uh, I tried to, you know, run every restart in the middle to try to block both lanes, uh, but it just wasn't enough. You know, it's one of those deals that late in the race, you kind of have a target on you, not in that way, but just because everybody's gunning for the win. I mean, it paid $2,500 to win this race. And I ran second and I got 150. So I, I thought that was a little bit weird. I was hoping the payout would be better down, but that just shows, I mean, you, you really want to win because it's, it's a pretty big uh, decrease. So anyway, great weekend. We ran better than we thought we would. 11th to second. Second sucks, but when you come off the track and you had fun, you did everything you could. I mean, I ran the hardest I've ran at Roseburg ever hit my marks for 39 laps and you know we got in a situation where it was time to really really race and not be out front and um, we just we got beat so great racing by Chase Magic he got the win I ran second Demo ran third so uh, a Cali click top three we'll be back next year and I believe um, we'll be running some more races Roseburg this winter so see you guys on the next one hope you enjoyed a thriller um, maybe next time we'll come out on top deuces